Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Time Splitters with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. Well, I say let's play, we've kind of done the story mode now. We finished off the last level of the game, Spaceways, last time, and now we're on to some of the extras, some of the uh, bonus stuff like arcade, challenge mode, and maybe even a little bit of the map maker we'll have a look at in this um, extra episode. So, let's get started with arcade. Um, we have quite a few maps to choose from. Some that we've not seen yet because they're kind of they're different from the story mode. So we have graveyard, site, um, streets. Oh, I definitely want to look at streets. Uh, castle. That sounds quite cool. Um, bank. Oh, what if that's like Wild West? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go for. I want to go for streets first because I'll tell you in a minute. But let's have a look at the modes as well. The modes actually change depending on the map, which is quite interesting. So. Some maps have Escort, some don't. Hmm. Some maps have Last Stand and others don't. But they're all fairly standard, I think. There's Deathmatch. Actually, let's go on that one. There's Deathmatch, Bag Tag, which is like, um, you know, holding, holding on to the bag for the longest. Sort of like Zones, but with a bag. Uh, capture the Bag, obviously like Capture the Flag. Knockout, I think, is sort of a mixture of the two of these. I'm a bit fuzzy with this because I've, I've only... Had a quick go of this and looked it up. So, uh, escort is obviously protect one of your team, and last stand is probably something like uh, the last to be killed. I don't know. I, as I said, I haven't played all these before, so let's just go with a fairly standard death match. I'm gonna go on streets, and we'll have a quick look at this screen as well. So we can change all this stuff. Do do do. Well, this all seems fairly standard. Let's go on to weapon set. Okay, what what sets do they have? They have custom, default. Pistol, handgun, rocket launcher. They have retro, all the blunderbuss, Tommy guns, heat, plasma, handguns, remote mines, proximity mines, timed mines, lots of mines, and then back to the beginning. Let's go with retro, why not? And the bot set, I'm quite interested in this as well. So we have the preset for the streets level, I guess. Um, Okay, lots of zombies and mummies. We have period horror, so that's sort of zombie people. Well, no, it's actually not zombies. It's the people alive, the, the human people fighting zombies, I think, because these all seem like humans, yeah. And then we have Usual Suspects, that's a good name. Uh, space opera, robots and stuff. Horror shocker, ah, so they, here's the actual zombies. Um, Law and order. And back to the beginning. Let's go with... Let's go with period horror, why not? Okay, uh, we'll select that one. And yeah, let's have a look at streets on deathmatch. Ooh, who are we gonna be? Cultist, Chinese chef, badass, cyborg. Hmm, let's, let's go with, I think we can go through all the characters to be honest, but let's go with, let's go with Chinese, not Chinese chef, let's go with uh, Cultist, because he looks pretty cool. He's probably from the tomb level, I imagine. Okay, here we go. Right, we have our blunderbuss. Do we have anything else? No. But the reason why I picked the streets level, streets map, um, oh man, Lady Lady Jane is already on it, is because, holy crap, there she is. Of one main reason. I mean, there's nothing really interesting to show you about the arcade because it is just a shooting that we've already seen before. But um, I chose this, this map because of... My little fondness for, uh, man this is really loud this level, let's turn it down. Um, my fondness for the film Shaun of the Dead. Uh, now to be technical it was actually Time Splits 2 they showed in the film, but it was still this map, because this map was in Time Splits 2. Uh, but they were playing, quite near the beginning, before the zombie outbreak, there is a scene with uh, Summer Peg and Nick Frost, they're on the, the sofa playing, you can see he's playing Time Splitters 2 in the background, but he's playing the streets level. In an arcade mode, and I just think that's really cool. One of my favourite game series, one of my favourite films, all in one. And you can sort of match it up a little bit. Hang on, if I get to the bit in the level. Uh... Go away, you, I'm busy. Yeah, here. See that C on the wall? Don't kill me now, I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> uh, you see that C there? That's exactly like a bit in the film where he's shooting someone up there. Hang on, listen. Um, all top left. Uh huh. I was gonna say, reload. I'm on it. Um, since. Oh my god! And now I'm dead. But yeah, 
I just think that's really cool. That's why I picked this map. I'm not sure if the music's the same, but um, I don't like this blunderbuss. Give me another weapon or body armor. Why not? Oh, there's one. And it's a blunderbuss again. God damn it. Okay, so shall we move on to? I want to show off a few of the maps because uh, I think some of them are quite cool. Uh, maybe we'll look at some different modes as well. So I'll, I'll, I'll not bother showing this, the menu screens again. I'll just cut straight to another another game in action. So here is the castle map on the bag tag mode. There we go. Ravel Velvet has got the bag. We need to go find her. Oh man. Uh, I have not seen this. I've not touched this map at all. Man, this looks cool. You die over there. That looks really cool. In fact, I, I have seen this map, but only as um, part of the remake for Time Splitters Rewind. I saw that they were redoing this and someone's kind of updated it in Unity or something like that. But, um,. Oh yeah, I like this. What's that, health? I think I've gone completely the wrong way. Is that shotgun? Yes! Okay. No idea where the bag is. I should probably look on the map, shouldn't I? That little white dot flashing is the map. Man, this is really cool, this level, though. Or is it below me? Die, you! Hey, come back here. Oh, I got the bag now. Screw you. Oh no! Chinese chef's after me. Oh! Oh, you can't shoot when you have um the bag. Okay. So you just gotta run. Oh, I'm so winning. Oh no. Winning, losing. Oh, Olga got the bag. Oh no. <laughs> well, there's no point me showing the whole match. Look at this action going on here. Wow. Um, I'm going to move on to another map, another mode. I'll see you there. Ah, uh, okay. So the bank's not Wild West, it seems. It's just like a, an actual bank. But this is... Uh, what is this? This is capture the bag mode. On the bank level. With handguns. Oh my, you're not on my team. Whoa! Whoa she's not wasting any time. She is straight after my bag. Stop it, you. Bag secured. Good. Oi! Oh, that's my team. <laughs> Sorry, Harry. I just kind of have a look around this map first. Oh, I so said, you go. You go, whoever that was. Score for us. Nice. Oh, we've not scored yet. Come on. Ooh, what is this? Oh, now we're outside the bank. Man, it's really bright. Okay, this is cool. It's a bit like Streets, but a different version of it. Nice. Is this in the future or something? It looks slightly futuristic, maybe? It looks miserable, actually. It looks <laughs> awful. Okay, there's their bag. Right, grab that. Thank you very much. You're not going to try and shoot me? Oh, you need a gun first. Oh, they don't spawn with a gun. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go win. How about that? Where's our... Is, that... Is it in here? Yeah, it must be in here. Out of the way, lady. Boom, there we go, score. We're on two. Great. What's down here? Oh no. Come back here. Oi. None of that, thank you very much. Oh, I like this. You can go in, in the vaults. Get the gold. And the, well, bags of money with dollar signs on. What is this? Where's the robber in the black and white striped outfit? Wait, did I secure that bag then? Yeah. Or did I? Yeah, good. Alright, so this was the bank level. Maybe we'll have a look at one or two more? Come on, Harry. Let's let Harry score. Go, 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 go. Mr. Dipper. Well done. Well done, my friend. Okay, on to the next one. Here we go. We are on... Oh, wow. That did not take long to get killed. Wow. We are on uh, Maul and Knockout. Yeah, it definitely is a Knockout. All those noises going on, what does that even mean? That's it, get that. Whatever you just did. Hey, you die, Chinese chef. My aiming is pretty bad. Wait, there's a rocket launcher? Where's a rocket launcher? Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good pan, though. So, this seems to be a... Oh, I think that's, that's some scoring, isn't it? Uh, it seems to be like a supermarket, pretty much. Oh, no, wait, there's more to it. There's a car park. Or somewhere. And then... 
screen. Oh, nice screen. It's actually a very, very tiny map, isn't it? Oh, no, wait, you can go in here. What's down here? Shipping? Yeah. This area doesn't really seem to be used much. Oh, wow. Well, I say that and just got killed. Oh, no, hang on, let me look at the map, damn it. Out of the way, you. Oh, my God, I think he just killed himself with that rocket launcher. Uh, through here. And then down here, around here. Oh, yeah, look, now we're out the back. This is where deliveries would probably come in, I imagine. Uh, let's go back in. Oh, wow, I can't even get up the steps. Let's go back in. This is a bit of a maze as well, isn't it? Hey, I don't know where I am now. I'm upstairs. I'm just moving. I'm just constantly running, otherwise I'm going to get shot. Wow. Can I go in there? Oops. Oh, did I lose? I think we lost. Wow. Can I restart, maybe? Oh, and it does give you awards, by the way. I should I should have mentioned that, because we haven't actually finished one yet. You do get awards earned. Most peaceful. I don't think I killed a single person. And my favourite weapon was the only one I had, sci-fi handgun. Uh, let's see. Can I restart? Probably not. Oh, well. On to the next one. So we're going to end off looking at these arcade games with Warzone. And this is just a regular old deathmatch. I probably should have killed these people. Never mind, they're going to kill me. Ooh. What is this? How do I get out there? I don't know. Uh, oh, here. Maybe. Nope. Hmm. When it said Warzone, I, I thought more sort of... I don't know what this is, actually. This is sort of Aztec. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> this is odd. What is... Watch for the enemy. Victory for the people. The people's something something. Alrighty then. Yeah, I, this is not Screaming Warzone to me. Oh, but look at this. this. is like... Yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. This is good. This is good. This is creepy on this side. Oh, man. Very creepy when you get rocket launched in the face. Um... Is this the blue side? No, that's the red side still, because there's Harry Tipper. He's trying to kill me again. I'm getting away. Crazy guy. How do I get away from him? Oh my god! <laughs> he's, he's a madman! Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this map. Ah, oh, she just killed herself. Take that, Chastity. This is, uh... Very confusing. Oh, oh, hang on, what's this? What do we have here? Well, back here again. Or is this somewhere different? This is a... Man, this is such a maze. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to get away from the rocket launchers, I think. Oh, or get one of my own. How about this? Prepare to die. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> I'm sick. Don't kill me, you. Yeah, I've got to kill. My score is minus three. Oh. Punch you. Oh no. Alright, I think we've seen enough of this map. Um, I'm going to end off looking at this episode. Um, wait, I'm going to end off this episode looking at the map maker, I should say. Oh, hello. And then uh, next time we might look at the challenge mode. Let's, um, let's hop over to map maker and see what that's like. Aha, uh -huh. so here we are on the map maker bit of the game, and it looks very familiar actually, very, very familiar to the map makers in Time Splits 2 and Future Perfect. We have L1 and L2 to go up and down levels, we have, um, what do we have? We have tiles to place, items to place, lights to place. Let's have a look. Yep, this is pretty much exactly the same, which is good, which is very good. Next page... Oh, actually, I say that as it's definitely limited in in the tiles. There's a lot less, but I mean, I'm I'm sure there's it's still quite impressive for the first game, I'd say. So let's just quickly make something, some little thing. Uh, so if I go down, that's like onion skinning it. Yep. Okay. And then how do we get like a? I want it to change level. Is there a stairway? Give me a stairway, will ya? Aha! Now, I'm always confused how this works. So, this is going to go... Yeah, so now it goes lower. Now, I'm going to put a little room here as well, maybe. I'm going very, very basic with this. Um, 
We do not need to do anything too complicated now, do we? Uh, let's put you... Can I rotate? I can. Alright. And then what about... If we look at items, we can have... How do I place the items? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Ah, lights. Ooh. How do we do this? So we'd have to select a tile first. Flickering slow. I will make it red. That's always creepy. Oh, does that just affect the whole game, I wonder? That might just affect the whole game. Oh no, oh no, look at that. We can set the light. We can copy the light. So we could have, can we have this as a different one? Oh, look, I see what that means now, yes. Okay. And then could we have a blue pulsating one? Fast. And then have that on, yes we can, okay, so then we can change that. Gotcha, all right. I mean, I, I was never one to use the map maker mode very much, really. Yeah, so we have lower levels, or the high level is blue. And the lower level is red, right? Yeah, no, other way around. I don't know. Uh, how do we put items down? Maybe we have to... Wait, phase? What does phase mean? Oh, how, how... Oh, you can do how quickly it does it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's do items. Aha! Oh, wow. So each room has a set number of items you can place. So we can have a high health bag there. We can have some armor there. We can have a gun. Whatever gun number three is, put that there. Pretty cool. We'll exit. All right. And I think that's pretty much it. I wonder if there's a way, is there different sort of themes for the tiles? Like, a, is there a space theme and a horror theme, maybe? Don't know. Ah. Aha. Maybe there is. Grid intensity. Oh, wow. Okay, that's how bright that is. Preview map. Map settings. There is. There we are. Tile set. Industrial. Gothic. Alien. Spaceport. Virtual. Uh, let's go with... I don't want to go with default, because that's going to be... Is there a default? Or let's make that up. Oh no, it's industrial. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with gothic, why not? That will that'll add to the red light flashing. And um, let's have a preview of it. In Deathmatch. Okay, here's our map. Oh, right, I see a slight problem with this. <laughs> um... Wow, this is actually... I'm sorry if this is, like, epileptic right now. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done pulsating fast. Alright, that was a complete disaster. Uh, we do not want the lights to be like that. There is no way. We want the lights to be just on, I think. Let's just have them on, on a nice colour, like white. Uh, that red was just not good. I could not see a thing. It was slightly epileptic. Let's put this on and this on. And also, let me just definitely make sure that this is actually going to match up with that. I mean, it should do, right? Or is that not matching up because that's that's red there? That might be it. Let's go back to tile. Hmm, what about if we put this? Let's well test something. Yeah, see, that wasn't that wasn't working because the red line obviously means that it would be blocked. So if I do this. And that, that should now work, I believe. Let's have another go. Aha, uh -huh, this is looking a bit better. Yes, I can actually see things now. Brilliant. So we're spawning in this little room. We have some body armor. We have a gun, a sci-fi handgun, which doesn't really match, but never mind. There's this thing, which doesn't go anywhere now. This should go up, which it does. And it should go to another little room, which it does. Okay, so that does work. Brilliant. There's a creepy thing on the wall. Very good. Okay, so yeah. I mean, if you if you played the, the map maker on the other games, it's pretty much identical, isn't it? It's just, you know, lower graphics and all that. But still very impressive for its time, I imagine. And I'm sure it added a lot to the replayability of this game to uh, be able to make your own maps and share them with your friends and 
all that good stuff, I'm going to quit out, head back to the main menu, and probably end off the episode. Alrighty then, so that was a little bit of the map maker, not too much of it, I'm not going to spend a long time making an actual map, but you get the picture. And that is going to do it for today's episode. In the next one, which I think is probably going to be the very end of the Let's Play, we'll have a go at a few of the challenges, there's a, a few unlocked, see how we do, and that'll be a pretty nice sort of overview of the entire game. So yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!